Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Long time no see. So I'm going to be just jumping straight into an update since I know I have kind of disappeared from this channel. So I recently graduated with my associate's degree in computer science. That's probably what I'm going to name this video, but I'm really proud of myself that I did it. it took me a long time. It took me a lots of obstacles, but I never gave up and that's what's the most important. So yay me! I got my associate's degree in computer science at a community college completely debt free. I paid for it completely myself and I just feel incredibly proud of myself. And for those of you that are still studying computer science, because I actually have a large amount of viewers that are students that are struggling, I just want to let you know to never give up. It doesn't matter if you fall a few steps behind or you have some major obstacles to go through or there are times it feels tough and that you want to give up. My biggest advice is to just never give it up ever and take it one step and one day at a time. So speaking of which, I was already supposed to be enrolled by February 1st in Western Governors University's uh, Bachelors of Computer Science program. However, they didn't tell me back in August when we had a phone interview that I would need to be taking a prerequisite before I'm allowed in the program. They told me I just needed my degree, my associate's degree, and then I would just be transferred directly into the bachelor's program. However, because they learned that I never passed my pre-calculus class that I took before that I will need to retake that before I'm allowed to be in the program. So I wish I knew that earlier because last semester, fall semester of 2019, was relatively pretty easy. I was only taking three classes and I definitely had enough room in my schedule to take one more class even though it's going to be a bit challenging. I definitely had room in my schedule for that so I wish I knew that earlier because I would have just taken pre-calculus last semester. So speaking of which, I'm taking a pre-calculus prerequisite at the moment. I'm not taking it through Western Governors University. They referred me to another program that accepts classes from this third party. So I'm doing that right now, but it's actually surprisingly pretty hard because I haven't taken a math class in like six years. So I'm definitely struggling pretty hard, but you know what? I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm maybe, okay, I'm not maybe halfway through, maybe like a third of the way through. So I have a long journey ahead of me and it's already almost May, but I started this at the end of January, but to be fair, I was making a lot of excuses because in January I moved to Northern California from Northern Utah and I've been settling in here and then I went to a wedding in New Zealand for a couple of weeks. And then the moment I came back to the States, we've had the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, yeah, it's been crazy times. I'm also currently looking for a job, but in order to get a job, I need a bachelor's degree and, or at least some like portfolio work and a lot of the work I've done in the past I can't really show. I have like some school projects I can definitely show but they're not as cool as like the actual work I've done for people in the past so but I can't really show those. So right now I am working on my portfolio. I'm actually working on a project right now related to COVID-19. I can actually show it to you guys. So I'm making this toilet paper calculator uh, based on this formula that I researched and came up with. I'm still working on it. I made these cute little sliders. I know priorities. This is literally the first thing that I made. Just using some basic JavaScript. I've only worked on it for maybe like an hour, but yeah, this is what I have. I'm still working on it. I made this little formula here and yeah, I hope it becomes live sometime this week. And then maybe I can post it on my website and post it on my social media accounts and have people play with it. And it's just like a silly little project I made out of inspiration and just wanted a way to get creative. Anyways, back to the main video. Let me know if you would like a little tutorial on how to make this. I'll be more than happy to, even though I am such a noob when it comes to coding. Okay, back to the video. But if you have any recommendations on what I should put on my portfolio or website right now, I don't really have anything to show. I can pull up some of my old projects from the past and kind of make them look a little bit more presentable and then add them to my website. But you know, I 
don't really have a lot to show. I know I'm capable of a lot, but I just don't have a lot to show, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm aggressively looking for a job at the moment, but I kind of wanted to be in my field. But it's also kind of hard when there's a stay-at-home order in my state, and there has been for a month now, I think over a month now. Yeah, don't know what to do. <laughs> for now, I'm just working on my side projects and applying for jobs and working on this pre-calculus uh, prerequisite I have to take. So hopefully by the summer, I have some things on my portfolio. I have a job and then I have, and I'm enrolled in Western Governors University. So those are my goals for the next few months. I hope they come true. Anyways, I just thought I should make this video to let you guys know that I have my associate's degree. I, I wanted to make this video back in December when I officially graduated, but um, then I was thinking that, oh, well, my commencement is in May and I was going to fly back to Utah to celebrate with my family. However, my graduation was canceled due to the pandemic, so I will not be having a graduation. Maybe they will postpone it until like this December because my brother graduated the same month as me from an actual university, like a four-year university. He got his bachelor's degree in finance. So his graduation was supposed to be a week before mine in May, but his also got canceled due to the pandemic. So however, his was postponed until maybe December. December. So, um, I mean, I'm definitely going to make it out for that, but I'm probably assuming that maybe mine will be postponed too, but it is just a community college. It's not like a four-year university. So I don't know what they'll do about it. I definitely think me as well as all my classmates deserve a graduation just like everyone else did. But I also understand because of this pandemic. And also I know my mom wants to celebrate this. She was so excited when I got my degree. So I'm, I'm pretty excited that I have my degree. <laughs> I did learn that I can't really do anything with it when I try to be like, hey, I have an associate's degree in computer science. They're just like, whatever. When I apply for jobs, I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, it didn't really do a whole lot for me, but instead it provided, I guess, a sense of accomplishment that I accomplished something. And it means that all those college classes I ever took never went to waste because that way I can say I got a degree from it rather than I just got some college classes, you know? Yeah, so that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside. Um, use this time to maybe get better at your coding skills or if you're in school, study harder. Just use this time while we are stuck indoors to be a better person and be a better programmer. Or you know what? Sometimes just surviving through this and taking it one day at a time is enough and you should be proud of yourself. Anyways, thank you for all of you that have supported me. I can't wait until the day I make a video that I have my bachelor's degree in computer science. So eee! I am so excited. Thanks for watching. Bye.